Hi guys, uh, today we're going to actually start modifying our Project Viper. As you know from the previous video, we collected the car from Sitna Tamworth. We've now carried out the run-in service um, and we're ready to modify the car. So today what we're going to do is fit the Evolve Stage 2 package, which is uh, catalyst downpipes and our Stage 2 map. So what we're going to do is run the car standard on the dyno, then Aston, the super tech, is going to fit the downpipes. Uh, then we're going to run the car on the dyno with stage 2 map and the downpipes together and we'll share the results with you. So let's see how we get on. So this is the Evolve Catless Downpipe. As you can see, compared to the standard pipe, it doesn't have the internal restrictions of the cat. Um, the downpipe is also a direct replacement to the standard one, so the lambda bungs are in the right place. Um, the, it will also fit to any standard exhaust system, as well as any aftermarket system that fits to the standard downpipe. So now I'm going to fit the downpipes. Uh, because they're a direct replacement, the installation is the same as removing the old ones, just in reverse. Um, also, because they're catless, they're a lot easier to install, and we quote two hours for this job. So now we've fit the downpipes, Aston's shown you the difference between the stock catted downpipes and the evolved decat pipes and we've also shown you the sound difference. So as you can probably tell from the videos, with the downpipes uh, on the stock competition pack exhaust, the sound is slightly deeper but still not obtrusive. So it's a good option to go for if you don't want to change your whole exhaust and you want a little bit more power and a little bit more noise. So we've also stay, uh, flashed the stage 2 file into the car uh, and now we're going to run it on the dyno again and see how we get on. Okay, so if we have a look at the dyno graph, you can see that stock it made 458 horsepower and with the stage two map and the downpipes, it's making 525. It's making a good sort of 120 horsepower in the mid range and well over 100 foot pound of torque. And then on this particular stage two map, we've basically kept the power quite linear and kept it flat. So it's making peak power in between seven, four and 5,000. So when you're 
sort of racing, you're in the power band all the time. And we have developed a slightly more powerful map, which makes more power early on in the road range and then tails off towards the top end. Um, we're not sure which one's practically faster in real life yet. So what we will do is once we have a chance to, we'll V-box both of them. Then we have to give you more feedback on which one is actually faster in the real world. I've got a feeling the more powerful map will be, but the shifting point will be slightly earlier. But certainly this one will be very linear and sort of more easy to drive on the road. As you can see, the power actually comes in very similar to the stock. So it's very linear and then it's got fairly flat torque curve until it starts dropping off towards the top end. So all in all, that's a pretty good result for just downpipes and a map. And we're going to, uh, the first outing for this car is VMAX. Um, so hopefully we will be able to give you a sort of benchmark as to where this map performs um, at VMAX. And as the year progresses, when we enter um, the second and third VMAX, we can see how much improvement we can give the map and the other modifications on the car. Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you want to see more of this project, you can watch that over here. If you want to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. As always, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you've got any questions for us, please drop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them for you.